Good morning and welcome. We're coming to you from the first ever Fiji Symposium in Bangalore, which is a platform for all dialogue on financial inclusion. And with me today is the Chief of Study Groups, ITU, Mr. Bilal Jamusi. Welcome, Bilal. And tell us, how does it feel to be part of the first ever Fiji Symposium? Well, it feels great. Uh, there is a lot of energy. We're very grateful to the uh, host country, India, and the Ministry of Communications for hosting us. Uh, India, of course, is a country where financial inclusion is quite advanced, uh, thanks to, uh, in large part, to the Aadhaar system uh, for digital ID, and uh, that was part of the uh, the committee selection to to be in India because there is a lot of momentum, a lot of experience to be shared, and uh, we can see that in the various working groups that are starting to meet today. So, Bilal, tell us more about the potential of the digital financial services in increasing the financial inclusion. Well, the, uh, most of the payments today are moving to mobile phones. Uh, and uh, whether it's a feature phone or it's a smartphone, if you look uh, in, in Africa or other countries, uh, uh, most of the, the mobile transactions are on phones. Because the mobile penetration is quite high worldwide, uh, there are about 7 billion uh, mobile phone users, uh, and today there are about 2 billion unbanked adults. And out of those 2 billion unbanked adults, 1.6 billion have uh, a phone. And so uh, mobile phones become a very easy uh, means to, uh, to bridge the gap in financial inclusion. And uh, it makes it very simple to reach out and provide a, uh, either a banking transactions or payment services, uh, microfinance services to uh, people who would not otherwise be able to. Uh, access uh, financial services. That's great. That's quite a bit of a gap that we have to bridge. Yes. But we're getting to it. And we're getting to it. And, and really the whole concept of Fiji, this financial inclusion global initiative that has four partners, uh, the World Bank, the ITU, uh, CPMI, and uh, support by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, uh, is created to uh, build on the uh, experience that we have in the field. Uh, that we developed over the past few years in ITU through a focus group on digital financial services uh, to really bring a dialogue between the financial regulators and the telecom regulators in order to enable the environment so that we can use mobile phones for uh, financial inclusion. Uh, and now Fiji is really moving into implementation. Uh, we're trying to target a number of countries where there is a lot of potential. So we have China, uh, Mexico and Egypt as countries with a large population, with a high uh, degree of penetration of mobile phones, where we can implement some of those uh, principles that were developed in the ITU focus group, as well as in the World Bank PAFI principles, uh, to go from uh, theoretical uh, discussion and, and an agreement on the models to actually implementing the, some of those recommendations in the countries. More specifically, can you tell us what are the areas ITU can contribute in bridging the financial inclusion gap? One of the key aspects of uh, financial transactions is the trust. If the consumer cannot trust the system, they won't use it. And one of the areas that we are leading in this partnership is the Security Infrastructure and Trust Working Group, which is really looking at some of the vulnerabilities in today's telecommunication system and providing mitigations and new uh, technologies to overcome these issues and to ensure that the consumer has the uh, trust they, they need, including the digital identity of the consumer. So once, and that's the reason, for instance, India is quite advanced because there is a biometric digital ID that can be used to know the customer. So we need to identify the customer and then we need to ensure that the transaction over the air is secured. And that's, for instance, the, uh, the working group today that is meeting on security is trying to look at some of the vulnerabilities and how to address them. In addition, the ITU is, is leading the symposium setting. So today's first symposium in India is to bring the experience from around the world and share that experience. Uh, we have a lot of uh, stakeholders involved. We have some of the bankers, some of the telco uh, regulators, operators, vendors, uh, consumer protection uh, organizations. So it's a very multi-stakeholder environment. Um, and this is really built on the momentum that we had in the focus group on digital financial services. And one of the reasons we wanted to bridge directly into Fiji uh, with the support of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation is not to lose that momentum. We had a unique platform for the dialogue between the financial sector and the telecom sector. We wanted to maintain that momentum through Fiji and uh, we're very gl uh, glad to see that in this first symposium that same momentum is continuing. Um, and uh, it's a very important aspect of the equation, the regulatory framework. Um, there is some discussion of whether it's bank-led or uh, telco-led. 
Uh, I think we need to go beyond that and, and see that it is both. It's an integrated system where the, f the telecom network is used to uh, provide the service, but the service is a banking service. So the dialogue is critical between the two uh, regulators so that we find the right solutions, technical solutions, regulatory solutions, to enable the environment and, and reach those 1.6 billion adults that don't have uh, a bank account. That's great. And the ultimate goal is to bridge the gap and ultimately increase financial inclusion all over. Absolutely. The, the ultimate goal is to increase uh, financial inclusion and, and really provide for a better life for uh, citizens around the world that may not be included in the economic uh, system, uh, whether they're farmers or merchants, you know, regular citizens that need to get uh, remittances back and forth either within the country or across border. That's great. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you so much. It's a great initiative and all the best. Thank you. Pleasure. Thanks.